Hello everyone and welcome. If you've ever looked at a dino plot, you may have noticed that torque and horsepower always seem to cross at 5,252 RPM, torque in pound feet and imperial horsepower. Now, why does this happen? Well, that's the question we're going to be answering in this video. And then the second question, does that actually mean anything? Is there any significance to this number? So we're going to be answering the question using three fundamental basic truth uh, equations. So the first equation, power is equal to force times velocity. Our second equation, torque is equal to force times radius. So if you think about a wheel, you have a force acting on that wheel about a certain radius. Uh, the torque at that center is going to be equal to force times radius. Now we can of course rearrange this equation and say that the force divide over radius is equal to our torque divided by radius. Great, we've got one equation out of the way. Next, we move on to our third and final equation. Velocity is equal to distance over time. So if you think about a wheel traveling along the ground, that wheel uh, is moving at a specific distance per unit of time. So distance divided by time. And we can also, you know, state this as the wheel circumference. So that's the total distance it will move per revolution. So circumference multiplied by the revolutions per minute RPM, for instance. So the total distance that this will travel per unit of time is equal to the distance of one revolution, uh, which is the circumference of this wheel multiplied by the speed at which it's rotating revolutions per minute. Okay, great. So we can now state this as circumference. The circumference is equal to pi times the diameter or two times the radius times the diameter. So we have two pi times radius. That's our circumference multiplied by RPM. This is equal to velocity. This is force. Force is equal to torque divided by radius. And we know that power is equal to force times velocity. So now we can substitute in each of these equations. So we can say that power equals force, torque divided by radius, torque divided by radius, times velocity, distance divided by time, or 2 pi r times rpm. 2 pi r times rpm. Cool. Well, now you can see that you have radius uh, on the bottom as a fraction divided by radius and you're also multiplying by radius. So we can scratch those out and say that power is equal to torque times 2 pi times RPM. Great. Now, a Scottish engineer by the name of James Watt uh, did a little experiment. He wanted to know how much uh, work a horse could do in a certain amount of time, how much power a horse made. Uh, so we came up with some equivalent units and in his uh, experimentations and discovery in math, he decided that one horse can do 33, so one horsepower could do 33,000 foot-pounds of work per minute. Okay, now what's interesting about this is this is in units of foot-pounds per minute. This is in units of pound-feet per minute. So we can divide the two, and that will give us uh, units of horsepower. So horsepower is equal to torque times 2 pi times RPM divided by 33,000. Okay. So if we take 2 pi over 33,000, we can simplify that fraction to 1 over 5252. So horsepower now equals, horsepower equals torque times RPM divided by 5,252. So now you can see where this number comes from. If you put in an RPM of 5,252, you get 5,252 over 5,252. Those cancel out. Horsepower equals torque. So they are equal to each other at 5,252 RPM. Now, 
Does this mean anything? The second part of this video. No, it means absolutely nothing. It's completely pointless. There's nothing exciting about it. So if you were to scale these two differently, if you were to scale horsepower and torque differently, because they're different units, they're not the same unit, so there's no reason why they have to be on the same scale, then this number would change. Where they intersect would change. So if, say for example, on our scale here, this was 300 uh, horsepower, but it was 200 torque, because each one will have its own axis, uh, then they're not going to intersect at that 5252. Likewise, this only happens if you're using imperial units. So this equation uh, with metric units is going to give you kilowatts equals newton meters times RPM divided by 95 Four, nine. So in metric, they're going to cross at 9,549 RPM. So what have we learned? Well, we know where the number comes from. We know why when you look at a dyno plot with horsepower and torque equally scaled, uh, that they will cross at 5,252 uh, RPM using imperial units. So it's meaningless, uh, but this is where it comes from. And if you've ever been curious why, that is the answer. So hopefully you've enjoyed watching. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Thanks for watching.